This video is as surprising to me as it probably is to you guys. However, this team right here is driving me insane. So I need some kind of therapy and you guys are going to be the therapist for this one because I need to scream at somebody. First and foremost, this is a team I support with an undying love. It's not the Minnesota Wilds who is my number one team. I hate to say that, sorry, but the Elba Pirates is the team I've been watching since I was three years old. That is the team I always had as my favorite. That is the team I played in when I was a little kid. That is who I always wanted to be growing up, was being able to play for this team. Of course you want to go into the NHL, absolutely you want to, but this team was the team I watched day in, day night, wanting to win, wanting to do as well as they could, watching them every year, at least once or twice when I was a kid, now have a season card to it. Now I'm there, I'm in the stands, I'm there every time, and they've let me down. New modification on the last bit, and I need to yell because I'm starting to go really pissed at them. And it's especially with one person, and I hate singling out a coach, but our coach seems to get the least out of our players, and that is just not okay. We seem to want to do the same thing over, over, over again, and we lead the line with a 17-year-old kid. That 17-year-old kid is the only player on this team that wants to try and win a hockey game. I just saw the most lackluster game I've seen in probably three years from this team. And that was when they were in the basement. And at least at that time they tried. They didn't have the skill necessarily. But at least you could see they tried. This team just looks like they don't care. We lost four on the bounce at home. Four on the bounce at home. Before that we had two losses with one win against the lowest team in the league who we played next time at home and then lost. Our top level and our bottom level is so far apart that you could literally put an elephant there and then still have base for three more. And we want to play such a different style than we used to do. I know that all of you haven't watched and I don't blame you if you haven't watched anything because this is generally just a weird video where I just complain to myself. But if you have watched any of the Elbow Pirates, if you've watched them in the Champions League, if you watched them in the last year's season, you could see that they could do something. They won the league. They won the cup. They were great last year. However, this year they look like a totally different team. And honestly, it comes down to the coach, unfortunately, because he has not been able to motivate the team to do anything for the last month or so. We had all the chances to get some kind of redemption. Lost it because we weren't playing. We didn't seem to care. We seemed to do the same thing over and over again. Get stuck. Do the same thing. Get stuck. Get stuck. Get stuck. Start. Do something. And again, a 17-year-old kid is leading our line. A 17-year-old kid is leading the line in terms of will. Any of the veterans seems to not care. They seem to want to just get the season over with and get their big money move or just pay, get their paycheck. Which is not what I want. I want to see somebody who pays for, plays for the front of the jersey, not the back, which they unfortunately seem to do. It's our import players, our Canadians, who seem to have lost it completely. Our Danish leaders, he played a really good start. Thomas Spelling played well in the start. Had, I still think he's the point of the game, but most of those came in the start of the season. And then he just completely co collapsed. And the game I just watched, that was just god-awful. I think we're the team that conceded the most goal on the power play. Because we want to do the same thing. We want to pass, 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 pass. Somebody shoot! Or at least, when you shoot, get it on the first time. But don't just pass it around like some kind of idiot. And just, oh shit, we can't really do anything. They have read our playbook. They get the puck. They streak in. Score. And it was the same thing today. I watched them lose 3-0 at home against a team we should beat. And we have all the things to beat. This is a worst team of the Boston Bruins with, with just one line. I don't can't think of a team right now in the NHL, but a team with one line that can produce. The rest is god awful, and we let that line score three times. Well, we let them score two times, and then we let the first penalty kill you on the score because again we pass it around. Eventually, one of the players sees the play, gets it in, interception, breakaway, scores. No chance for our goalie, who I think has done well, but unfortunately has regressed a little bit for the last few days, and that sucks for us because then we can't defend anything. And once we go behind, we don't seem to be motivated enough to try and come back to the game because our coach is not able to motivate these guys at all. We have good players on paper, however the coach doesn't seem to know how to utilize them. We seem to be freezing with the puck when we have it. We don't want to shoot. We seem to want to it may always make the nice extra pass for one place. Ooh, so nice and Swedish or Russian. Just shoot the puck. Get the puck to the net. Get the garbage. Score. It's not difficult. If you take a base off in the offset, so okay, good. At least it's 200 feet away from our own net. Hockey is not a difficult game unless you make it difficult. 
if you want to play simple, play simple. And that's what I think we were good at last season. We were good at playing simple hockey. We were good at playing smart hockey, where we shot it a lot. We were rarely outshot in a game because we kept shooting, we kept peppering, going. We didn't win all the game, but at least we shot the puck. At least we seemed to get the chances. At least we try, seemed to have like a game plan. This time we seem to want to always pass, 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 but where's the shot? We are going to make the playoff. I'm still going to be there. And I'm probably going to make like a video on the playoff, but just because now I introduced you to the Danes team, I might as well keep you interested in. But for now, I don't think our coach is able to play us in the playoff. Because why should he? Because we haven't shown playoff hockey all year. We, our defensemen look scared of the puck. They look like they want to have play hot potato or it's a grenade that they cannot control. And that leads to a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes that's punished because... We lose the puck in our own breakouts, cost us. How does one year change a team this badly? I don't understand because last year we were incredible. We looked so good. The only guy I can think of that we lost was a go coach. And unfortunately, that says a lot. We lost our coach. We got a few new imports. We lost a few imports. That stuff happens. But in terms of CV and in terms of like the core of the team, still the same. However, the coach has not seemed to do it. And honestly, I don't know if he's going to be the coach for much longer if he keeps it up. And I honestly kind of hope somebody buys him out of cannon and into the moon at this point. Because he doesn't deserve to lead this team. Because it seems like the team has given up on him, on his tactic. And once you don't have a, have somebody at the top, once the top loses at it, everything else follows. You can't organize your legs. You can't organize the feet. You can't organize the body. You can't organize the hands of the corporation. And right now, we lost the head at the very top of the team. So if we lose the head, we need to replace it with something else that can work so the rest of the body can follow. If you made it through this, well done. You've done better than normal virus has. But, so we can't be on that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this little weird video. And I'll see you guys when the Minnesota Wild play. I need some good hockey that actually works a little bit better. Oh wait, it's Minnesota, so it's going to be an unstable hockey, isn't it? Like where we don't know what they're doing. Great.